Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about the importance of taking breaks occasionally. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to go over is, of course, my total playtime. As you can see, I have over 5,000 hours on this game. I have 1,600 hours on PSO2 or the base game and 3,300 hours on NGS. So how on earth have I avoided burnout? It's actually pretty simple. It's uh, taking small breaks in between like lull periods. Like a very good example was when Dark Falls Dalian was released. I went absolutely mental on it. All right. I was like, all right, I'm just going to keep farming it until I get a wing guard weapon. That was my goal. So eventually I did manage to get a wing guard katana. Now, of course, I did have to buy it off the player market through a friend. But nevertheless, you know, it was a drop that we did get collectively. It was a team effort, right? And so I did manage to achieve my goal. And then my next goal was, okay, I want to get it to fix a five. And so eventually we did manage to do that. So I do have these lifelong goals that I do want to achieve over time. And then the moment I achieve it, then it's kind of a lull period. Ever since I got my wing guard katana, I'm like, all right, what's, what else is there to do in the game? What am I playing the game for? And so because of that, I lost a lot of motivation and I was like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be grinding the game all day, every day, and just forcing myself to play a game that I'm not enjoying. So I decided to take a step back. For people who have me on their friends list, you probably may have noticed that for the past week, week and a half, I haven't really been playing NGS that much. I've literally been doing what yesterday's video was all about. I log in, I did my dailies, I did my weeklies, I collected my valuables, I logged out. That was literally all I've been doing for the past week and a half, almost two weeks now. And I think I'm going to continue this trend for another week until the 22nd. The reason for this is because the coming update that comes out tomorrow, actually, uh, there's not a lot of really interesting content for me personally. Sure, I'm going to look at the rare drop rate booster. I'm going to be like, all right, is it worth farming deck space a little bit for some raw meta? Or, you know, is it just like meh and I'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the week? Of course, we do have the Altilier collaboration. So, you know, thick thigh save lives. That's going to be a very interesting scratch to look at. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it for next week. So there's not much going on. However, the week after that, or the 22nd, is when we finally get back Crimson Realm. Remember, wing guards can drop in Crimson Realm. So that is when the wing guard market is going to be absolutely destroyed. Now, do keep in mind that even though the wing guard weapons can also drop in Crimson Realm, we are getting another boost event during Crimson Realm. So, you know, right now we have 150%. Next week, we might get 200%. And the week after, who knows, it might be 250, 300%. We don't know yet. But nevertheless, you know, there's going to be a lot of incentive to farm Crimson Realm. And uh, that's going to be something that I'm excited for because I really enjoyed Crimson Realm. I'm not that big of a fan of deck space farming. Like it's all right for a couple of hours, but I can't do it every single day. I get really bored of it very, very quickly. But in Crimson Realm, on the other hand, I don't get bored as quickly simply because the boss fights are fun. You know, whenever you see Dry Barris spawn, it's like, oh yeah, big bad guy spawn, time to beat him up and it's just a little bit more fun for me personally so i'm pretty excited for that however that isn't the only thing that i'm excited for on the 22nd we are also getting the new and addy capsules that come out then as well so i'm going to be pretty preoccupied farming for all the masetta that i need to purchase all of the and addy capsules that i want because uh, i'm going to be stockpiling a couple of them especially since i am saving for new armors as you can see i'm still using my octo armors uh you know these are kind Kind of outdated i'm really hoping for some new armors once those come out i'm definitely gonna reinvest into the new armors hopefully we get the augment transfer system so i can transfer all of these over and then just change my xd capsule into an and addy capsule that would save me a lot of money um but who knows we uh we're gonna have to wait and see on the next ngs headline so what exactly is the point of today's video is just letting you guys know that it's okay to take breaks like the past week, I've been super hyper invested into Honkai Star Rail because we did get the version 2.2 update. So there was new story, Penacone, Robin, the, the whole shebang over there was just absolutely masterpiece. 
So uh, I've just been diving headfirst into that. And then tomorrow is the Diablo 4 Season 4 item rework, whatever it's going to be called. So I'm going to give Diablo 4 another chance because I'm just that type of guy. I give games multiple chances. And so I'm going to dive into that headfirst. Going to be making a Necromancer because uh, apparently like the summon Necro or the pet Necro is like super OP. So I'm going to be playing that for sure. And I've never played a Necromancer before. I've always played Rogues. So uh, that is definitely going to be super interesting. Hopefully that'll keep me busy for like a week. So that'll carry me over to the 22nd. Um, and then even if it doesn't carry me to the 22nd, I also have Cyberpunk as well. Cyberpunk 2077, I did buy the DLC. So I have a lot of other games to play as well. Um, of course, we do have Nikkei, you know, the Nikkei uh, one and a half year anniversary is just about to end. Uh, I pretty much caught up, so I'm not too worried about it. But then we get a new event coming in soon. So that is definitely something I'm pretty excited about. But uh, yeah, the main point of today's video really is just to let you guys know that it's okay to take breaks and it's okay to play other games. I feel like a lot of players seem to lock in and they're like, I can only dedicate my time to one game and I'm only gonna play one game, and if I play other games, I'm cheating. And um, that's not really the case, guys, especially with NGS. With how simple th it is to catch up in NGS, it's perfectly fine to take breaks and to play other games and do other things. And so, um, yeah, that's really the point of today's video. Just letting you guys know that, hey guys, it's okay. Even a content creator like myself has taken breaks playing other games, all right? You don't have to dedicate your life to NGS. NGS is a fun game in moderation. In short bursts, it's a really fun game. If you take like a three month break and come back to NGS, you're gonna love the game. And then you have your fun and then you take another break. I feel like that is a more healthy way to look at this game. This game is definitely not something that you sit and you play eight hours every day consistently. This is definitely a type of game that you would come in and play maybe 10 to 15 minutes every day, 30 minutes, an hour every day. And I feel like that would be okay. You know, just play in moderation. Don't binge the living daylights out of this game, unless, of course, that's how you like to play. But if you do binge the living daylights, you are going to burn out and you are going to need to take like short breaks in between. So, uh, yeah, basically, that's all I wanted to cover, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know that it's OK to take a break. You're not going to fall behind. Don't fall for all the FOMO. All right. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.